Welcome back viewers to yet another exciting show of Regional Review. My name is Monique Adams and I am the New South Correspondent for Namibia Media Holdings. And to kick off the year, I go around asking people right here in the South what their December was like and what they're expecting for the new year of 2022. So don't go anywhere and enjoy. So before we watch all the well wishes that we got from the people here in the current region, we head over to our quick ad break for today, which is World Pharmacist Day. So we're celebrating all other pharmacists. <laughs> Peter van der Westesen, ik is de site manager van Fischerover Trakport Marinta. Um, ja, die vraag was aan mij geweest: uh, hoe was ons december seizoen? Ons het een fantastische december seizoen gehad, ons het bij ons de Brikaners gehad, wat hier ons bezigheid gegaan het. Um, so ja, ons was bij opgewonnen voor die december geweest, ons het goed gedaan. En um, ja, voor de toekomst, uh, voor 2022, verwacht ik niet uh, elke maand een groei, een goede groei. En ons wil net vir, vir die mense wat ons ondersteun het, sê baie dankie en ons waardeer elke oomlik van, van die bezigheid wat ons gekry het. Hi, hi everybody. My name is Toivo. I'm a Mokanda. I'm the assistant manager at Marental One Stop. And um, I'm very glad that I have this opportunity over the weekend today. Um, very proud of Marental One Stop so far. We had a good December, high traffic flows. Very good. Our foreigners from South Africa was a lot, so we did well, and I get a great expectation that this year is going to be more better than it was in December. And I see a big perspective of our business growing to greater heights. And so far, yeah, we are doing very well. We are doing very well. That would be the best year I for us so far as I see 2022, and I got. I believe it's going to be the best year for all of us. Good day everyone. I'm Mama Diweras, an engineer at the maintenance office in the southern region here at Roads Authority. And we just want to say we're excited to continue working on the projects, the ongoing projects that we have and maintaining our roads for a safer 2022. Happy New Year everyone. Uh, good morning everyone. Uh, thank you. Um, my name is Gregorius Andres. I'm the town blend of Ketmos Municipality. I'm responsible for all the town building related matters at Ketmos Municipality. Um, this year we are focusing on the following projects. We will be focusing on our urban structure plan, the new one. It's a 30 year long term spatial development framework. Um, We'll be focusing on designing an industrial park, which uh, which is about 100 hectares. Uh, um, we are planning also to design a new urban agriculture layout for urban agriculture projects. We are also planning to design new two suburbs for the lower income segment groups. And. It will be an exciting year. Um, we have uh, projects that are, are uh, which are, we have projects which are there, uh, which are, we will be implemented this year in Kronline, Nordug, and so on. So we are very excited for the year, and uh, we want investors to invest in our town, especially to develop our industrial park in Kitman's work so that we can employ our local people. Um, I'm wishing all the Namibians a very good and productive year. I hope that COVID will not hit us so that our economy can recover. Good day. <laughs>
welcome back that was amazing messages from different people here in the Karas region of the south of Namibia. Now we are here at the Kitman's Web Swimming Pool to, you know, understand why this Kitman's Web Swimming Pool isn't open and to see a few clips in what condition the Kitman's Web Swimming Pool is at currently. So enjoy the video and don't go anywhere. Well, it's really, really dry. After that, we took a turn at the Kipman's Web Municipality to sit down with the Public Relations Officer, um, Don Greer, and she spoke about what plans the Municipality of Kipman's Web have for the swimming pool for this year. So stay tuned and watch what she has to say about the conditions and their plan of action for the year forward. Um, good day, my name is Dawn Clear, Public Relations Officer, Kitmans Hope Municipality. Um, the Kitmans Hope Municipal Swimming Pool has been closed for renovations in 2021 and um, is currently fully functional. But the EXCO team of the Kitmans Hope Municipality has decided not to open their swimming pool due to the COVID situation that we are currently experiencing. Um, Due to the fact that it is very expensive to maintain water in the swimming pool, it is currently empty, but um, the, the, the management team will um, monitor the COVID situation and in summer of 2022 might open the swimming pool if COVID uh, regulations allow. Looking at the weather in the south this week, Rehoboth is hot at the moment with some clouds and rain expected on Friday. Marintal, Kietmanshoop and Karasburg are very hot today and tomorrow. Somewhat cooler conditions along with some clouds are expected over the weekend. Ludritz is sunny and warm today with cooler weather and cloud cover expected thereafter. Guys, this has come to the end of today's regional review right here in the south. I really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this new journey, being the voice for the voiceless. So for myself, Monique Adams, it's a goodbye for now. See you next week.